Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that this angle A, B, C is uh, 150 degrees. And moreover, these side lengths A, B, B, C, and A, D are equal in length. And now we are going to calculate this angle X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. As we are dealing with a tricky kind of problem, so therefore we are going to think outside the box. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and extend this line AB. I'm going to extend this one all the way and I'm going to drop this uh, perpendicular over here such that we got this uh, right angle at this point uh, E. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. As you can see this is our right triangle BEC since this uh, angle is 90 degrees. And now we know that this whole straight angle is uh, 180 degrees. And we know that this angle is 150 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 180 degrees minus 150. So that is going to be 30 degrees. And we know that uh, some of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees. If this is 30 degrees, this is 90 degrees, then this has got to be 60 degrees. So therefore we can see that we got this uh, BEC as a special 30, 60, 90 degrees uh, triangle. And here I have put down this uh, 30, 60, 90 special uh, triangle uh, BEC. Now we can see that this 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side that is opposite to that one is going to be smallest uh, side of this uh, triangle. Likewise, this angle 90 degrees is our largest angle. So the side opposite to that one is going to be our largest side. And in such kind of special triangle, the largest side is twice as this uh, smallest side. If the smallest side is 1, then this uh, largest side is going to be 2. Therefore, let me go ahead and represent uh, this uh, side length EC as one unit and this uh, side length BC as two. Now we know that these uh, side length BC, AB and AD are equal in length. So therefore, if this uh, side length BC is two, then this side length AB is going to be two units and likewise this side length AD is two units as well. Therefore, EC is 1, BC, AB and AD, each of them equals to two units. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, these points A and uh, C. Let me go ahead and connect uh, these uh, two points as you can see. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And as we can see that this uh, triangle uh, ABC is an isosceles uh, triangle since this side length AB equals to this side length BC. So therefore our these two angles uh, BAC and this uh, angle uh, BCA are going to be congruent. If this angle is 150 degrees, then these two angles have got to be 15 degrees and this one 15 degrees as well. Since the sum of these three angles is going to give us 180 degrees. So therefore our these two angles BAC and BCA turns out to be 15 degrees each. And we know that this is our 90 degrees angle and this is our 15 degrees angle. So therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees minus 15 degrees is going to give us 75 degrees. So therefore our this angle CAD turns out to be 75 degrees. 
And now in this next step, let's go ahead and draw a line uh, FC. Let me see, we have at some point F uh, is on that uh, line AD such that uh, we are going to draw this uh, line FC that is uh, parallel to this line AB. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram and we can see that this uh, AECF is our rectangle. That means this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees as well. Now since we are dealing with this uh, rectangle that means this side length EC is going to be equal to this opposite side AF. If this is 1 then this side length is going to be 1 as well. And we know that this whole side length AD is 2 units and this side length is 1 so therefore this side length df is going to be a one unit as well so therefore our these uh, side lengths uh, fa and this uh, fd are one unit each as you can see over here and moreover these angles uh, afc and this angle uh, dfc both of them are uh, 90 degrees each and now let's focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, afc and uh, DFC as you can see and we can see that these both triangles AFC and DFC are congruent triangles since this side length AF equals to this side length DF because both of them are one units and this side length FC is in common and the angle between these two sides is 90 degrees each. So therefore we conclude that these two triangles, the triangle AFC and triangle DFC are congruent triangles according to side angle side congruency theorem. So therefore we conclude that these two angle FDC and this angle F, A, C are going to be congruent as well. And we know that our angle F, D, C is X. So let me go ahead and write down X equal to our angle F, A, C is 75 degrees. So therefore our angle X turns out to be 75 degrees. So thus our angle X turns out to be 75 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.